some of you may or may not have heard, uh, last year my English 11 honors class. Most of these kids stand here behind me. Um, well, all of them, but you know, they're not all here. They wrote a book. They actually did something incredibly difficult. I was trying to get them beyond the SOLs, trying to get them beyond the idea that writing is just this thing we check off on the SOLs and we take a test with, and we started with one assignment. I said, I want you guys to write a letter to yourself. I don't want you to open up. I want you to write and say the things to yourself that you would say to no one else. And no one's gonna read it. You can throw it away when you're done, trash it, take it home and burn it, whatever you want. And they did it. Um, so much so that some of them were even crying when they finished. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a phone call tomorrow from some parents. <laughs> but uh, we kept going with some creative writing projects. And then I said, you know what? You guys wanna write a book. And they did. They took that emotion, they took what they learned from the, that assignment and channeled it into poetry and into fiction. And as storytellers, we know that the best lies are the true ones. These kids told the truth. They became writers with everything that means. All the emotional baggage, all the up at midnight trying to you know, plumb the depths of, of their imaginations and their feelings. And they created something that's nothing short of incredible. Every word in this belongs to them. They designed the cover, they wrote everything, they edited everything. It's all them. Um, watching them do this was a privilege. They opened up to each other. There were days I walked in that class and said, you guys run it. And they pushed their chairs in a circle in the back. And if something was too hard for them to read, someone else read it for them. They trusted each other, they supported each other. We laughed together, we cried together, we became family. Um, so much that we had a family dinner before the end of the year. Uh, we're planning another one before graduation. Um, you know, this may be one of those once in a career classes. I've been at this only four years, but these guys were special. They were lightning in a bottle. I, this was magic, pure and simple. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I taught them in some ways. I know what I tried to teach them. They made me a better teacher. They taught me how to trust my kids. They taught me how on the days that I lose my focus, when I get bogged down in meetings and everything else that involves in being a teacher outside the classroom, I pick up their book and remember why I'm here. And that is no small thing. So um, we have brought the board members copies of the Twisted Circle of Room 114, which was their title. Um, these are my Higgy Monsters. This book is available online. Um, I think it was probably the first time in the history of school when things like this been, has been attempted. I know it's something I cannot imagine like ever experiencing it yet. Uh, everything I tell you tonight is so short how special that class was and what it felt like to be in there. These kids are amazing and it was my privilege to teach them. Thank you, Mr. Eddie. And thank you all for what you did and what a great example of, of moving forward with project-based learning. You did a fantastic job, so thank you very much. Before you take off, introduce yourself. There you go. Oh, I'm Juliana Edwards. I'm Kara Rod. Michaela O'Connor. I'm Aisha Wright. I'm Mackenzie McFall. I'm Mackenzie Brown. I'm Lexi Harlow. I'm Laurel Moore. Luke Bradley. <laughs> I'm Sebastian Dawson. I'm Cassie Connor. I'm Tia McDaniel. 